hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel and if you're new here my name is esther mofri in today's video i want to do a quick analysis on nsd usd i got um i got a message somewhere someone was telling me they had the signal of nsd usd that they're supposed to buy but i told um for me i was like let me check it and then we'll see if it is a buy or a sell so for me, I believe that before you take any signal, do your due diligence, go and try to see why is this market supposed to buy or why is the signal saying it will sell. So in this video, we'll do the analysis on NSDUSD and we see, do we have a um, conclusion or is it a buy or is it a sell? So this title, this video, maybe I can title it, when do you buy? When do you sell? And knowing to buy or to sell is not enough. The other thing that I would I would want to tell you all is that you might know that the market would buy, but the entry is the question. So in the next video after this, I'll be doing the entry video. So today I just want to analyze to just know do we buy or do we sell NSD USD. So I'm in my four hour time frame, and as you know. If you want to get um, accurate analysis, we always start at monthly. So I will go to monthly chart and this is how my monthly chart looks like. So we can see we have some lows over here. We have some lows over here and this market uh, created a low, created a high and it is like it is in the middle. What do I mean? If I put a horizontal line, that is our low and then uh, that's our, our lowest point and then if I put our our resistance that would be our highest point so currently why is the market the market is in the middle and if there's something that is hard to trade in the market is when the market is in the middle of a highest point on a low or a lowest point why because the market might tend to go either on the upward mark or the upward side to hit the resistance or it can drop to hit that low. So trading such a market is not as easy as it may sound. But let's try to analyze from the monthly time frame now, knowing that the, the position of the current market is in the middle. Uh, for me, uh, the price action, I start with price action. This is something that I'll tell you, what do you start with? So for me, I start with the price action. I start like looking the previous monthly candle close, and you can see we had a bullish candle close last month on on uh, the month of October. We had a bullish candle, meaning that the buyers were coming in and most probably November would be still buyers in control. So from the price action perspective, buyers are still in control because we are told that on the on the week or on the month of October, the market was buying. So let's go to the structure of the market. The structure I've told you it was upward market because the market went up and then it hit our highest point and now it's going down. And this um and this dropping, we can't necessarily say it is a retracement, it's like a reversal. So the structure of the market for me it looks more of a downtrend more than an uptrend why because the market is coming from the highest point so if the market is coming from the highest point of course the market is a downtrend so the structure of nsd usd for me i'm seeing a downtrend and even if previous candle monthly candle closed bullish sellers have been in control since um 2021 uh, march and since the highest point where it was 2014 on aga so sellers have been in control so initially or in short words structure of nsd usd is a sell now the third thing let's go to forex pattern guys can you spot any forex pattern for me it is very easy to spot a double bottom so we have a double bottom here so this is the easiest way to spot a, a pattern so I have a possible double bottom and I write it there. We have a possible double bottom. And you know in our bo double bottom, um, what we normally do, we measure double bottom and then we identify oh. our neckline. So let me measure for you the neckline. That's our neckline. So we have 
any double bottom any double top you must work with the neckline guys so i will uh identify my neckline and then the next thing i will identify my half so we want to see if this double bottom the market has really given us to the half so that is the half of that double bottom so one one thing that you need to understand is that the market will eventually come to this half but we don't know when so the market even if the structure of the market is a downtrend the 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 okay we started with the price action the price action the previous candle the monthly candle on october was bullish so it was supporting it was supporting by but when it came to the structure the structure was a sell but now the pattern double bottom of course supports buy so we have two times two structures uh two yeah. confluences that support uh that is supporting buy one the the structure is the only one that is supporting sell but according to monthly time frame according to monthly time frame there's no way i can get involved with this buy why because according to double bottom i use wbb strategy for entry so even if i wanted to buy monthly time frame has not confirmed this buy and once the wbb strategy is easy once the green candle comes you put a box and then you wait for wbb weight box break so even if this market i would want to buy up to the half i need to wait for this uh the monthly candle to close like that for me to have now a full confirmation of my entry so according to monthly i cannot get involved so let's try to go to weekly yes we know and this is it you know the market will buy up to the half but the entry monthly has not given us an entry why because we need to wait for wbb and that is the difference the entry is what uh, makes people don't get in so for me monthly time frame on nsd usd for you to get those 300 and something pips to the half we need this candle to close like that so if you go to weekly let's go to weekly if you go to weekly we can see that where the market is it is at a very strong resistance zone which can give us a double top so at the end of the day even if you want to use weekly time frame to get involved in this market we cannot why because again here we might have a double top and you know for a double top you know for a double top what market does the double top it simply means the market might sell so again for me i still believe that the structure the structure is downtrend on the weekly yes price action uh the weekly candle close was bullish but the structure is a, a very good sell and the pattern weekly pattern supports sell so on weekly time frame i have two things confluences that are supporting sell remember on monthly it was two confluences supporting buy now on weekly the structure is a sell is a downtrend the pattern in question it is a possible double top that supports a sell only the price action the candle close that is a marubozu that is supporting buy so in this case um still not convinced to get in and you see guys the entry is the problem here the market has told us what it wants to do but the entry we have not been confirmed so if i have a double top what i need to do is to identify the half so the that is the half of this double top and for me what i find sometimes is the market going uh just half of the half like the market might continue uh, might not even touch the half because remember the bigger picture is on monthly so we will not want to really focus on this half because this is just a small double top so i will have these two positions so on on weekly time frame from the position where the market is to the drop of the half of the half is 137 pips where it is so most likely the market might reach there so i having those two positions in place i know that the market might drop a little bit and then now continue to go up now let's go to daily time frame daily time frame is still the same possible double top we still have the possible double top we still have the half because 
on daily and weekly we still have a possible double top so what i can tell you because i won't go to analyze on four hour what i can tell you guys because i want to end this video i want you to either put as a buy limit on 6015 it's either you put a buy order on 6015 we put these two orders there waiting for the market either to reject half of the half or to reject half of this double top we cannot assume that there is a double top there so this is half of the this is the half of the double top and the blue line is the half of the half so we have really tried to see why how can we get in this trade how can we get involved because most um it's most definitely that the market will the market will come all the way to this position but we don't know when or how um how long it will take so the only thing that i can advise you guys is to have a buy order on 0 0.6015 and another buy order on 0 0.5846 if you have to those two orders, just leave the market. And then we will observe on how weekly candle will close, how monthly candle will close, and then we will be able to will be able to uh will be able to do what we'll be able to enter in the trade. So thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Bye bye. Love you.